and recording hello everybody welcome back to let's play kirby superstar milky way wishes in the last episode we took on two of the star planets to get two of the stars so that way we could awaken nova in this episode we are going to sky high this is the next ward on our list and we get some more classic music from Dino Blade in this stage, basically. But Sky High is basically the big cloudy world, kind of like bubbly clouds from uh, from uh, Spring Breeze, basically. And I'm gonna switch abilities right here because I got, I swear to God, I hate the layout of my controller. Sometimes it'd be better if I used my regular PS3 controller. But anyway, destroy that block. Fly up into this area right here. And we get the jet ability! Now we can use jet anytime we want to. And those jet capsule J enemies aren't gonna attack us or anything. But now we got the jet ability, so we can actually light up the cannons and whatnot if we ever need to get to use the cannons. Ow! And it gets a little tedious, especially when you're trying to light up the cannons and there are enemies about. I'm probably going to have to end up creating a helper. Yeah, I'm going to have to create a helper in order to get this part bad. Alright, Capsule J, I'm going to need your help. And I'm going to switch to fighter ability right here. Capsule J, over here. Thank you, Capsule J! Now we move as fast as we can. And we see what is inside of this cannon. Watch us! And there's the wheel ability! Yes! All right, now we got wheel. Now we can turn into wheel Kirby, and we can turn our helper into the wheelie, wheelie helper anytime we want to, which rocks. Okay, this area right here is a pain because you gotta navigate through a series of doors in order to find the exit, and it can get pretty tedious unless you know the pattern. I'm going through all the doors because chances are I'll probably find another capsule somewhere. I mean, another copy de uh, copy deluxe ability. Anyway, Capsule G destroyed the helper, but he steps in at the right moment to get the Poppy Brothers Jr. ability for bomb. We haven't gotten bomb yet, but we will eventually switch the sword. Step through the store quickly. Ugh. A whole bunch of Sir Kibbles in the area. Oh, well, we got some pancakes. Here you go. And yeah. Unless you know the pattern, you probably won't find your way as quickly as uh, you can throughout this area. Ugh. But I'm gonna stop fooling around and see if I can find the exit. It gets a little tedious, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, gotta be careful. Because enemies could pop out at any time. Enemy placement can be a real bother. It's just... Blah! I hate it so bad. Step through this door... We got the wing ability! Alright! Yeah! That was the other ability I was going for. The wing ability was hidden behind one of the doors, as you can plainly see. More enemies. Step on through. Cannons. Uh, there's the door right there. We got two crash abilities, but they're not gonna matter. Give him the super lollipop. And our boss for this area is Cracko. Unfortunately, we can't really damage him with the super ability, so I'm just gonna use the wing ability to t attack him. And the super ability runs out, and there goes the sound effects to indicate the enemy's health bar going up. Using Wing is pretty simple and it'll do some pretty good damage, but you also gotta watch out for Krakow's electricity. And Poppy Brothers Jr. is going down. And I didn't change back in time in order to... Oh, never mind. He got Waddle Dee instead. And Krakow goes down. Alrighty, grab the next star. And we are done with this world. Okay, our next ward is going to be this little sun area right here, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take a quick pause break and I'll see you guys back at uh, the other world, the uh, ocean world. Be right back. Okay, the reason I went back to the ocean world is because I did indeed forget an ability, and that is the parasol ability. 
it was hidden behind a door that I unfortunately passed by earlier on. So now we got the Parasol ability. And because we also have Capsule J Jet ability, we can use the cannon right here. Alright, switch to Jet. Give it to my helper. And then we jump in the cannon. Blast off! And... All we get is a 1-up and a little bit of food. I think we got all the abilities in this world, so yeah. Okay, no point in sticking around. Okay, enough playing around. It's time to go to our next world. Hot Beat. And much like the name, yeah, this area is covered in lava and a crap ton of flame traps all over. Unless you can maneuver around carefully, you are going to get burned and take massive amounts of damage. You might even lose your copy abilities or helpers. This world is one of my unfortunate least favorites, especially with one of the gimmicks being how to get uh, one of the special abilities in this area. But I'll explain about that later. But anyway, yeah, there are a ton of enemies around the area. And uh, uh, there's like I said, there's a lots of flame impact pillars around the area so you got to be careful with the enemy placement and you also got to watch out for the fire in the area which is a real hassle but what we want to do right now is we want to grab the super give me the give me give me okay give me the super uh lollipop we want to go over here and we want to destroy this bomb right here because you can actually go through this area because they hid the fire ability up here for you to get basically and what we want to do is we want to go up basically dodge all the fires and there we go fire now we got the fire ability they're clever with how they hide some of these abilities behind certain invisible walls and stuff which is a real pain and I'm gonna die if I take another hit Ugh. anyway we get to a mine carting area and we got to run over certain bob switches to get certain lava pillars to come up so that way we can reach certain doors this area can be a real pain unfortunately because you never know if you're gonna end up hitting a switch or something that can end up triggering a lava pillar and then boom you hit it and you die which is a real pain like i said hot beat is one of the least favorite worlds i love to play in milky way wishes and there goes my helper there's a series of blocks up here that you can get to but you got to destroy them first we got to need beam kirby for this one Oh god, I keep pushing the wrong button. I hate the layout of this controller. I don't mind uh, Microsoft Xbox controllers, especially because they work on PC, but seriously. Ugh. And, ah, I went too close and I died. Frick! Now I gotta start this area over again. I swear. Ugh. Like I said, this area is a pain. I'm not having much fun doing this stage, ladies and gentlemen. Believe me when I say it. Hot Beat's the least of my favorite stages in Milky Way Wishes. And I hate the fiery gimmick, too. I also hate all the darn whatchamacallit enemies here. The... Poppies? Whatever you call those enemies right there. Seriously, they're a major pain. One minute they're all cute and then they get all monstrous. I hate them. Okay. Alright, careful. Okay, going up. And going forward. And we got a boss battle against the suplex bugs. Uh, against Bugsy. The suplex. The suplex bug. I can't speak right now. Take him down. Destroy him, and we get the suplex copy ability. Alrighty, yes, 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 yes. I think now we can uh, lead this area because I think there were only two copy abilities in this world specifically. But yeah, I think that should do it. All right, jump and fly over. Drop down. And now we gotta navigate throughout this giant fiery maze. Lots of palmies and lots of spiked enemies in this area, as well as the fire columns. And the palmies in this area will turn vicious the moment you turn your back to them, so gotta be careful. 
It's like the booze from Mario. Anyway, shoot through these cannons, and make your way through the maze. Time your movements carefully, because chances are you'll get burned if you don't do it right. Up. One more time, and to the right. And we are ready to take on the boss for this area, but I'm going to switch to Cutter Ability. Let's step on through. And our boss for this area is the Chameleona. Or however you want to pronounce it, but the Chameleon Monster. He basically has the same attack pattern. Nothing's changed, nothing is different. See if I can get a Paint Ability from him. And no, I cannot, because Sir Kibble ended up destroying it. But it doesn't matter at this point. I'm gonna suck back up Sir Kibble, and spit it out of the Chameleon Arm. And we're done. Alrighty, we grabbed the star for this area, and we are done. Four down, three to go. Alright, our next destination is the caverns of this planet, but yeah, three, three areas are left. But we're not going to go to the cavern area of that particular planet just yet. I'm trying to look for something real quick. Uh... It's... No, not there. Uh... Over here by Pops... No, not there. Uh, okay, now I remember where it is. I gotta go up to this green star right here. Go to this green star right here and try to enter it. And voila! We're in a mysterious area where there are a bunch of tack or copy uppy monsters lying around and they're gonna try and grab me to steal my copy abilities but I'm not using copy abilities you can use a copy ability if you want to to take on the tax but there's really no point because the only way they can damage you is if you bump into them basically but yeah you come into here and it's a mysterious area and believe it or not because there's so many tax or copies all over the place you can guess what our next copy ability is gonna be it's gonna be the copy ability where we scan enemies and take their copy abilities i'm gonna crash all these enemies because i'm getting freaking tired of them seriously Ugh. stupid tax go through this door and there's the tack copy ability right there jump on the warp star and we are out and we're done. Next episode of Let's Play Kirby Superstar, we are going to take on the caverns of this giant comet right here. But I'm going to end the video right here. For now, this is Leo Hightower, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Kirby Superstar. Mookie Way wishes. Until then, keep on gaming, and peace out.